Hi uh, guys, welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Today's video is on uh, the Brady Bunch. And I'll star Robert Reed refused to say one line on the show. And the reason I picked this is not because of the, what the crazy one line, but the absolute craziness of why he wouldn't say it. And it's just uh, so petty. Um, that, that's why I chose this. So let's take a look. Uh, the, to American television viewers, he was the wholesome patriarch of the Brady family. But to his colleagues, actor Robert Reed would be very particular, sometimes even difficult to work with. He was dismissive of the nature of sitcom work and even completely refused to say one particular line. Part of this uh, series creator, Sherwood Schwartz, reasoned, had to do with Reed's more serious background, having just come from performing Shakespeare before playing Mike Brady. But he was also very particular about little details that sitcoms might forego fact-checking, leaving a bitter taste in everyone's mouth. Now, <clears throat> The Way We All Became the Brady Bunch by Kimberly Potts details some of the interpersonal dynamics between the Brady Bunch cast and crew. The season four episode, Jan, the Only Child, shows Carol, played by Florence Henderson, competing with housekeeper Alice, played by Ann B. Davis, to see who can make the best strawberry preserves. Now, originally, Mike was supposed to come home and say the house smelled like strawberry heaven. But Pot writes, uh, Potts writes, Reed wanted to verify the validity of this very concept. He even checked the Encyclopedia Britannica and did research to find strawberries did not seem to have a fragrance when cooked. Reed was profoundly against saying the cooked strawberries taste like anything, uh, let alone fruity heaven. Uh, he and Schwartz went back and forth, both ready to have their say be the final word on the matter. Finally, they settled in the middle, and Mike said, I do believe I've died and gone to strawberry heaven. There was some peace at last, although things would come to a head in time for the finale where Reed got into such an argument about the plot that he was written out of the show's final episode altogether. Bob was a classically trained actor who came from a very professional background, said biographer Ted Nicholson. He studied with Alvina Krauss at Northwestern University, who was one of the most famous and legendary acting teachers of the 20th century. Bob was extremely intelligent and well-versed. He elaborated. He studied with Alvina Krauss at Northwestern University, who was one of the most famous legendary acting teachers of the 20th century. Bob was extremely intelligent and well-versed. I think I said that already. Sorry. Uh, he had many friends who were very talented, but did not uh, end up being successful. I think people just need to remember that he was before the Brady Bunch come along. I'm sorry about that. I got two lines mixed up. Uh, I mean, how crazy is that? How picky can you be? I mean, you're just spoiling for a fight. That's all you're doing. I just, I think, you know, that's, that's got nothing to do with reality or whatever. It's, it's got to do with you. You're in a mood and you want to pick a fight. It's just, it's a shame. He was a good actor, really good actor. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Hope you guys got a little giggle out of this. Uh, don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Check it out, please subscribe. You have to forgive me. I just ate and I had beans and I'm kind of burping a little bit. Um, have a great day. God bless you and I will be praying for you.